Renaissance Village, uh, not as glamorous as it sounds. Next, the Black Film Festival is getting underway in San Diego, and one of those films takes you right inside FEMA's solution for victims of Hurricane Katrina. We'll show you. When Hurricane Katrina slammed into this country, the monster storm drastically changed so many lives. It changed the nation, too. Well, there's a new documentary that takes you inside FEMA's largest post-Katrina trailer park. It's called Renaissance Village. Take a look. Why do we put this all on the government? Because there is nobody else to put it on. It's not that you obligated to help us, but wouldn't you want to? It's not the agency's job to make people whole in a disaster, but to help move them forward. I ain't never been in a situation where I didn't work. I got a five-year-old son. I lost everything I had, everything. And this is what I tell these people when I hear them talking. You don't know what we going through. Just because this is free, this is not glory. You got a driveway by your house? Renaissance Village is just one of many of the works featured this weekend during the 6th Annual Black Film Festival. The director and producer of the documentary, Gabe Chazanoff, is here this afternoon along with co-producer Lou Carson. Welcome both to San Diego. Thank you very and much. And our warm weather, not like Chicago where you're from, right? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Tell us about the circumstances that led you to this project. Well, our production company, NTI Upstream in Chicago, uh, initially went down to New Orleans to shoot a documentary about the um, post-Katrina healthcare situation. And while we were down there, we had the opportunity to speak with some of the residents in Renaissance Village, and we realized that uh, this was a story that really needed to be told. And it looks like you, they really did want to tell their stories to you. Did, what was the reception that you got from the people that lived there? Overall, pretty positive. Um, the park was their home, so when we showed up with cameras, there was you know, some natural reluctance. But when the residents realized that we were interested in a deeper story, and they got to know us, and in turn we got to know them, they really opened up and in fact we're still close with many of them and we keep in contact. And it, it seems that they really wanted to get across to, to you but also to the people that would eventually see this that they weren't just there for free handouts and this wasn't something fun for them. No, uh, a lot of them lost everything this storm and they were doing everything within their power to uh, try to regain their lives, try to get jobs in Baker and in New Orleans, but uh, as it so happens, FEMA put Renaissance Village in the middle of a cow pasture in the middle of nowhere, and it was very, very hard for the residents to um, get transportation, you know, get to work, um, get to just take care of the everyday things, getting groceries, taking care of family. What about your contacts with FEMA? Well, uh, we initially called FEMA and let them know that we were going to be filming in Renaissance Village, uh, and then they granted us one interview. And after that one interview, I think they had had enough of us, mm -hmm. and uh, we stuck around. I think that surprised them a little bit because they were used to camera crews coming in and out for their 30-second uh, spots, but we stuck it out for about 18 months. So. What's the message that you're hoping people get after they watch this? Well, I think that uh, we're really trying to communicate that a lot of people who lost everything in the storm are still struggling. And just because the storm is over, uh, it hasn't ended for a lot of the people in Renaissance Village. And even though the park is now closed, a lot of them are, st are still looking for housing and looking for some semblance of uh, their old lives. It's Renaissance Village. Thank you both yes. for And our DVD us about it. is uh, for sale on our website, rvthefilm.com.